golf fans. Today we are going to talk about that phrase everyone hears, compressing the golf ball. Okay, what does it mean? It means getting the most out of your golf swing every mile per hour. Okay, do you have to compress the golf ball to enjoy the game of golf? The answer is no, you don't. I know a lot of players that love the game. They make a circle. The club goes up, comes down, and goes up. And they're happy hitting the ball. It's lifting and they're having a good time. So it's up, down, up, nice circle. But as your handicap goes down, or as you want it to go down, more and more all the good players compress the golf ball. How do you compress a golf ball? Okay, two factors. The loft of the club is de-lofted. That's by getting your hands in front and your angle of attack. We, you might have heard hit down on the ball. Eh, you ought to watch out for that phrase. It might be a fallacy. We want your arc to be coming down two, three, to four degrees, but we don't want it coming down on the ball. So don't chop down on the ball in an effort to get, get a divot. We want a perfect, efficient divot. So all the good players are there. I put this line here. A scooper would be like this. They'd flip the club and they'd scoop the ball. A player that clicks it kind of perfect, the club would be straight up and down. Every good male and female player has the hands in front. Okay, how far in front? Six, eight inches. We're gonna give you a drill where you try to put the club, I'll tell you the drill right now. Put the club just be outside your right foot, three inches off the ground and then try to keep your hands in front, keeping it three inches off the ground till you're two feet in front of the ball. So how did you do that? Club there, club right there. So it's going real level, that's a great drill. Move that club with your legs and hips staying together. Compression is actually your club hitting a ball and at that moment right there at impact, the ball actually squishes and then leaps off your club face. So the separation speed is better when you squish a ball than if you click it. And it feels softer. When you compress a ball, the ball feels like butter, sweet, okay? And to compress a ball, you want to get it up on the three, four, or five scoring line of your iron. Because if you click it off the bottom, it doesn't work very good. So compress. That's why they make a divot. Because to get a ball up on the three, four, five scoring line, you're going to have to get a little bit of turf, a little bit at least. We don't need giant divots, just a little bacon strip is pretty good. Okay, the factors. You have to de-loft the club. That's getting your hands in front. This is why most people don't want to compress the ball. The first time they try to get their hands in front, they push their hands forward and the golf club opens. And so every time they try to get their hands forward, they get a terrible result. The ball goes right. Nobody wants to go find their ball in the bushes on the right. So the key there is get a strong enough left hand grip that you can push your hands forward and that club face does not open, okay? So a good strong grip. The other reason why players don't get their hands forward is they spin too much. So if you spin your shoulders and try to get your hands forward, again the ball is going to go right. So as most golfers of course spin too much with their shoulders and then they can't get their hands forward. So you want to get it back well bring it down, 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 hands in front. Check out where my weight is. To get your hands in front, by the way, you're going to need a good move into your lead hip. Pretty hard to get, in fact, it's impossible to get your hands in front if your legs don't help you. Because the club will always release at your chest. So the key to this compression is you have to move your body over in front of this line. Your nose and your chest have to be in front and not spinning so much. Now after I hit the ball, then the rotation comes. But if you rotate before you hit a ball, you're never going to get that compression. Okay, efficient communication with the golf ball. Your club is in front, your club face is square, you're keeping your hands in front as long as you can. Nobody can keep your hands in front longer than right there. Right at that point, the club has to pass it. Okay, so don't get so stiff that you don't let it pass you. You're going to keep your hands in front, in front, in front, and then let it go. So there's a, a lot of things that are hard there. Keep your hands in front, then let it go. While you're keeping your hands in front, a lot of people are squeezing hard. That's not going to work either. So, proper movement of the body. Look where my nose and chest are right now. Look where my hands are. I'm going to hit a shot for you. Okay? It's 
good to start small, by the way. Take a seven iron, go back, and just hit a ball, I don't know, 50 yards or so, just kind of like this, and try to get your hands in front, okay? You'll see a little divot in front of the ball. So, just get back, get your hands in front. <laughs> Did you see that one, Peter? Okay, here's a couple other drills. This is the impact bag. It's a hundred year old tool. You just want to get to that thing and have your hands in front. You want to smack that bag with your hands in front. And notice how your body, your legs have to move to get that. Okay, another thing i like you to know is, if they were going to cut off one of your arms, would you want them to cut off your right arm or your left arm? Because a lot of players can square that club thinking left arm. See how my left watch and wrist are out there in a little bowed usually. But you get your legs going, you pull that left arm. The right arm players, they're going to get there like this. The wrist is bent. They bring a bent wrist, bent wrist, bent wrist, bent wrist, right down to the ball. So see how my wrist is still bent there? So the feeling would be retain that right wrist as you hit that bag right there. By the way, that's why the ball goes so much farther. If your club, if I swing at 100 miles an hour and you swing at 100 miles an hour, but you hit the ball and your wrist has released upon hitting the ball, so 100 miles an hour, but your wrist is released, the ball won't go as far as mine going the same speed at 100 miles an hour, but my wrist as it's hitting the ball is still energy going out because the ball, the ball, the club head won't slow down, the ball will go farther, even though we both hit it at 100 miles an hour with club head speed because when I hit the ball, I still had this lever that was kicking out, so the ball loves it, jumps off the ball, and your ball speed will be greater, called coefficient of restitution, which is a great term that doesn't help you at all.